The mending stitch, row one, stitch number 21, is a great one to know how to use if you've got boys or rough and tumble guys in your house. So we all know what it's about. When you have fabric that's got holes in it, what you wanna do is interface the back of that. Put something behind here that will kind of bring all the fabric and threads together. What I'm gonna do is just put a nice piece of fabric uh, behind it like this. Now, as we stitch, I'm gonna put the rip in and start in the top left hand corner here, kind of above it and up into the right, uh, up into the left as the first row of stitching. So I'm gonna kind of just position it because once we start, notice the reverse button that's on screen here, it's gonna indicate how we're gonna tell the machine how long this opening is. So it's gonna start stitching down the left needle position. So I'm gonna get down a little ways and I'm gonna touch the reverse button one time. That's all I need to do. Next, it's gonna start sewing back and forth at each of those needle positions, working from left to right. And this way, it's gonna just kind of recreate that fabric in that area. One thing nice is if it counted like say 11 stitches forward, it's doing 11 back and 11 forward and back and forth. That's what we did by telling it how long we wanted that rip to be. So just let it sew until it stops. Now, if you have an opening that's much bigger, what you're gonna do is go ahead and stitch as far as it will from left to right of the foot. Here we are, we're stopped. And then start again, overlapping a few stitches in from where we left off on this one, and then keep on going. And then you'll really have a nice, secure um, stitching. It's almost like it rewove the fabric back together, so it's very sturdy.